What's up, YouTube? It's a glorious day. It's the day before Christmas. Can you believe it? Was it like 65 degrees right now? It's ridiculous. I just did one of the dumbest things I think I've ever done. I left my phone at home while riding. I mean, that's like the dumbest thing ever. What happens? Something happens, you have no way of contacting anyone. I'm usually Bluetooth in, you know? Like, hey, I can at least hit a button for 911, you know? <laughs> not today. There's still wet patches on the road, so I'm not gonna be doing anything stupid today anyway. But there is one thing I wanna talk about today. The stigma that motorcycles have, especially sport bikes, you know? Not just a bad stigma, but, you know, the stigma of you even mention a bike to someone and it's like oh yeah I had a friend of mine they had a motorcycle and they lost their arm yeah oh thanks it's like the first thing that rolls off somebody's tongue is oh I had a friend and they got hurt that's the first thing is they, they tell you about someone else's accident why is that I, I, I just don't understand people say that motorcycles are more dangerous than cars I, I, I personally don't agree with that I honestly do not agree that motorcycles are more dangerous than cars. I think a motorcycle can be just as safe. The person you put on the motorcycle is what makes the motorcycle dangerous. Just like the person you put in the car is what makes the car dangerous. So you could be a very safe driver or you could not be a safe driver. You sneak it up on me? But it's the same thing as like speed was a factor as to why he died on a motorcycle. Well, yeah, it was a factor. It was actually moving. But why is it that someone immediately has to tell you about their buddy that died? Or, I had a friend of mine, his son died on a motorcycle. Really? Well, I wonder if we do a comparison. Um, which one's more dangerous? How many, how many people have died in cars versus motorcycles? What percentages of people that died in cars and the percentage of people that died in motorcycles? or on motorcycles, excuse me. Let me get my analogy right. That kind of stuff drives me crazy, man. And somebody said, oh, you ride. <laughs> I, I, I prepare myself because I know the first thing coming out of their mouth is about someone that got hurt or someone that lost their leg or a foot or ankle or toe or some shit. It just makes no sense to me. If you do something stupid on a bike, well, yeah, you're gonna get hurt. Just like if you do something, do something stupid in a car, you're gonna get hurt. <laughs> Ooh, that felt good. So that was something stupid. I could have gotten hurt, but it had been my fault. <laughs> But I also waited till there was absolutely nothing around me. Nothing. I did not go through the middle of downtown Atlanta on the back wheel. <laughs> Tell me what your experiences are. Is that, is that the same thing that you have? I mean, do you have those exact same problems when you hear someone? I mean, if you're a serious rider and you understand about safety and about, you know, traction and lean angles and tire pressures and things of that nature, you know that you're more of a serious rider than the average Joe, I guess you could say. Have people said the same thing to you when you talk about bikes? It's like the first thing you talk about, oh God, my buddy died. Yeah, he was he was hor horrifically injured or he spent three months in the hospital, da, 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 you know. But yeah, go ahead and comment. Let me know what you think because I personally, I think that it's kind of stupid. You know the stigma that motorcycles have and it's I, I honestly don't think it's that true i think you can get hurt just as much in a car as you can in a motorcycle i, I that's my honest opinion that's what i believe so now i'm gonna leave you with a little bit of a cinematic ride so until next time ride with jt out peace